Hi, so um, carry on working with this plant battery a little bit actually. What we've done is we've put together a kit uh, and obviously that's going to be for the live event that we're running. I think it's going to be the end of May, beginning of June. Uh, Steve's got a couple of things to finish off on his energy scavenger and then we'll have that exact date. But it's going to be the end of May, beginning of June and we've put the kit, together the kit on the plant battery. Uh, one thing I've done, remember, this only ran for a few seconds. So I've left this on charge. Now the only wiring you can see here is to go to the voltmeter so I can read the voltage on the cell. So the cell itself is connected to the voltmeter leads and then from the voltmeter to this supercapacitor, which is what I've been charging. And then I've connected this motor to the voltmeter leads as well. So we can see how that um, stored energy will uh, last longer running that motor. So we'll try that in a second. But that's all I've actually been doing with this is I've left that for a couple of days on that supercapacitor to charge that supercapacitor. So it's been continually charging it for a few days and we'll see what kind of energy we've got out of it by seeing how long that motor can run. But we've prepared this kit. Um, the kit's really simple. We've tried to give you uh, I, exactly what you need, but the key things obviously are this material. This material is a carbon felt. So we've included a square of carbon felt and that forms the top layer and there's a square of graph oil. So the graph oil goes at the bottom then we put a substrate on here and that goes on the top and you connect here and here and this one is um, your positive and this one is your negative and this one goes on the bottom of the tray and we put a little tray in the kit so you put that in there and then we need something on there to act as a protein exchange barrier and we found that actually zeolite works really really well so this is a zeolite clay so we're giving you a baggie of zeolite clay so you put this in there pour the zeolite on, pop that on top, and then you put some uh, topsoil or some moss. So your choice here really is um, up to you. It's, it's, you can experiment with a ton of different plants to see which ones are going to respond well. Those plants that like a, a waterlogged environment, like a boggy environment, are actually going to be the ones that do really well in something like this. But essentially, you're going to have to go out and collect yourself a bit of moss or get yourself some seeds as well. And if you use seeds, then you're going to need a little bit of topsoil. And obviously, I just dug this out from the garden, so I'm going to dig up a couple of tablespoons of topsoil, and you're going to be good to go. And if you use moss, you just put the moss straight on top. So all the key essential ingredients you've got in the kit. We've also given you a couple of um, crocodile clips and a nice little motor so you can see that you're actually generating something out of it. You might want to do what I've done and that's uh, put a supercapacitor in with it so that you can store the energy and use the energy to do something else. But the real key materials are in fact these two. This one specifically. They're the ones that are difficult uh, or next to impossible to get hold of and we've included them in the kit. All the other little bits and pieces that you're going to need you might find that a bit difficult to get hold of, so we've given you a baggie of that. This actually is uh, used as a face mask, so it's a clay face mask, so it's all really perfectly safe. Now the other thing we've given you is a little bit of fertilizer, because this fertilizer is um, a concentrate, so you put that in about half a litre of water, and you've got the fertilizer you're going to need to run this thing for uh, ages. There's also the uh, other additive in here as well, that is the thing that we think is responsible for improving the performance, and uh, we've included that. So we're going to go through how to actually build this in the workshop, and we'll tell you exactly what's in that fertilizer as well, uh, so that you'll be able to make that there. All I really want to do is explain that the kit is here and together, and it's available for sale in our shop that the um, workshop is targeted now for the end of May, beginning of June, so the last week of May, the first week of June. Something around about there, we'll confirm that when Steve's ready. And then to have a see what this did for leaving it on charge for a while, uh, connected to a supercapacitor. So that's the exciting bit as far as I'm concerned. Let's give that a go and see what happens. Oh, that is considerable. I'm not sure if you can see it spinning or not, but it's spinning right there. Uh, and that is, I remember when we first did this, we had very little energy out of this. We could spin that for a couple of seconds or so. It's obviously been spinning a hell of a lot longer than that. And I'm having a quick look at um, my voltmeter here, and I can see the rate at which it's dropping down. And that is going to spin for some considerable time. It started off as 1.84, it's now 1.62, my apologies, 0.184, it's now 0.161, uh, 
Um, it drops down to about uh, 0 0.08 before that motor dies. So I'm figuring that's going to last, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, which is pretty cool when you think that it's done from moss and then obviously collecting and storing the energy. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um, I hope you found it was interesting. Please do visit the shop and get the kits because we can clearly generate sufficient energy from this to do a significant amount of work just by leaving a little bit of moss on a wet dish. Anyway, I hope that was of interest. Thank you very much for watching. It's still spinning and I look forward to seeing you in the workshop. Thank you. Bye bye.